Let's go step by step through setup of auto completion in Visual Studio Code. Of course, there is a separate video for PyCharm users. Before starting Visual Code, you should install Python on your machine. You can find correct version in documentation. According to current docs of Unreal Engine 5.1, we need Python 3.9.7. You can find it on python.org slash downloads. If you have to pick some more custom version, if you want to set specific Python interpreter, you can do it by setting UE Python dear environment variable in your system. However, we are not going to perform it. I suppose you have everything installed and now it's time to go to VS Code and install two important plugins. So let's go to extensions and first plugin is called Python. It's by Microsoft, so it should be safe. We have to have it installed and the other one is called Pylance. Pylance is also by Microsoft. If it says that there is a restart needed, then please pause the video and restart. I have the extensions installed, so I'm going to keep going with the video. By installing those extensions, we got support for Python. However, we also have to pick the right Python interpreter version. Of course, you may have had someone, some of these versions picked already by VS Code, so we have to make sure that this is a correct one. There is a gear icon in bottom left corner. Let's click on it and pick settings. Now find extensions and navigate to Python. Once you have done it, we can select default interpreter path. And as you can see, I already have it as Python 3.9. Make sure that this is the correct one for you. Once that is covered, scroll a bit up and find autocomplete extra paths. We have to edit those settings JSON. After clicking, we have a new entry added and we can paste path to our stub here. Where exactly is our stub located? It's in the project files, intermediate folder, then Python stub folder. So let's copy the path, paste it. And as it doesn't have the double quotes, let's add them ourselves. Also, we have to fix slashes. Once that is covered, the last thing of auto-completion setup is to restart VS Code. After the restart, a new entry has been added automatically to my settings. If you see it on my screen and you are wondering if you have missed something, then no, you didn't. Everything is correct. Now, our task is to check if anti-completion works. Let's press Ctrl N on the keyboard to open a new file and import Unreal. It may appear white text and for a few seconds, it may be loading the stub. So be aware of that and please be patient. Below we can type Unreal, place a dot and we should have auto-completion working. We can press Ctrl on any class or any method from our file and we will be transported to Unreal Pi file. As you can see, you have some information about inheritance, like you see that achievement right delegate is based on multicast delegate base, and we can check what it is based on. However, I have been working with Python in Android for some time, and there were cases when such classes were based on objects or Unreal objects. While in real life, they were based on some other Unreal types. So if you want to be 100% sure what objects are based on which classes, you can go to official Unreal API documentation. And this one should be always correct. I hope everything is working fine for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.